A great team doesn't just happen. Every great team takes time to reach its potential. In the process, it has to pass through various stages of team development. Some leaders see it as a problem while the most aware leaders see it as an opportunity. Rick was leading a business unit at a leading manufacturing organization. Rick was extremely happy when he noticed that his new recruits are quite friendly with each other. To his surprise, within a few months the same members started having issues with each other. Rick was confused so he approached his boss for guidance. His boss said, Congratulations Rick. Rick got curious after listening his boss's words. Rick knew exactly what was happening when he heard the next words from his boss. Rick's boss referred to the popular Bruce Tuckman's model of team development. A journey that every team goes through after its formation. In first stage, members are very polite to each other. Some members adopt a highly courteous behavior. Some feel confused due to unclear objectives. Conflicts are avoided. As people begin to work together, they make efforts to know each other. Leaders play the teller role. That means, direct instructions from the manager prove to be helpful at this stage. In second stage, members push each other against the work standards and they start to express their suppressed feelings about the other members, processes or even bosses. Different people adopt different styles of work in difficult situations. Such behaviors give rise to conflicts. Leaders play the role of a coach in this phase. Leaders make efforts to use conflicts to set new standards. In third stage, people start to resolve the differences between them. Members start to acknowledge the efforts of each other. Team develops a stronger sense of commitment towards the goals. New standards and norms come into light. Here, leaders play the role of a facilitator. Leaders step back and enable the member to take responsibility. Finally, a team reaches the fourth stage of performing. Members know clearly what they are supposed to do. Team has a very clear vision. Leaders delegate and oversee the progress. New leaders emerge and take up full responsibility for running the show. Fifth stage starts once the team achieves its vision and the purpose of forming that team is achieved. Organizations disbands the team and members move on to different assignments. It is important to recognize and address the feeling of insecurity among members if there is any. Leaders can help the team members by guiding them onto a new journey. In the context of corporate teams, every time a member leaves or a new member joins a team this cycle starts again. Sometimes a team may move back to the previous stage due to any uncertain situation. Hence, it is important for the leaders to know that at which stage the team is in, and what type of leadership will help the team most.